Hey everyone, welcome back to ITPK. So Microsoft has officially ended mass stream support for Windows 10 as of October 14, 2025, meaning that no more feature updates or fixes. If you are still on Windows 10, you are now at the crossroads. Upgrade to Windows 11 or risk running an unsupported OS that's vulnerable to security issues. In this video, I am going to walk you through all methods to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 including the standard and official ways. And also the most importantly, I will show you how to set up Windows 11 on an unsupported hardware or the PC. Whether you want a free, clean, manual or workaround install, I have got you covered. So before proceeding, make sure you have like and subscribe ITPK and let's get started. Now here I have my Windows 10. Let's go ahead confirm the version that is 22H2. Now let's go to Windows Update setting and here we could see that check hardware requirement. Before moving up to Windows 11, it is better to first check the hardware requirement for Windows 11 and confirm if your PC meets that specific requirement. Here we want to download PC Health Check. Please note that if you didn't found that hardware requirement option here, open up another tab and type download PC Health Check app. Go directly to Microsoft website, scroll down. And here you will find an option to download the PC Health Check app. So I have downloaded it successfully. Let's go ahead and run the quick installation for PC Health Check app and it's finished. Let's go ahead and check the requirement to upgrade to Windows 11. Here you could see that I have to complete these two requirements 4 gigs of RAM. Currently I have 2 gigs and the system disk needs to be 64 gigs or larger if you want to see all the results my computer has some of the requirements that are getting complete to upgrade to windows 11. i have to complete these two requirements to upgrade to windows 11 but don't forget at the end of this video i will show you how to upgrade non-supported pc or hardware to windows 11. Now first see how to upgrade the supported Windows 10 PC to Windows 11. So I have completed the requirement. Let me open the PC Health Check app and check now. Here my PC meets Windows 11 requirements. Perfect. If you want to see all results here, I have upgraded my RAM and then I have upgraded my system disk that needs to be at least 64 gigs or larger. So fine. Let's close PC Check Health app. Here, open up Windows Update and check for updates. Now here, I got a lot of updates that needs to be installed to proceed the process from Windows 10 upgrade to Windows 11. Let me pause the video. Once these updates are installed, I will resume the video again. So most of the updates are installed on my Windows 10 PC and the last one is downloading and will be installed that is cumulative update for Windows 10 version 22H2 and the KB is 5066791. So this is the last and latest update needs to be installed before upgrading to Windows 11. Once this update get installed, my PC will be ready for the upgrade. All the required updates were installed and now in order to complete the installation, I have to restart my PC. So this is an important step to restart your PC. Don't skip this because it will install all the required updates that needs Windows 10 to be upgraded to Windows 11. Now let's log in and verify if my PC is now eligible to upgrade to Windows 11. Go to Windows Update Settings and here I can see your version has reached end of support. Let's click on check for updates again. If you want to extend Windows 10 support, there is also a legit and official way. For that, please go ahead and check the video mentioned in the video description as well as in the YouTube card above. Now normally if your device meets all the system requirements and Microsoft has rolled out the update for your region, you will be able to see the banner here that will says that get updated to Windows 11. 
you could just go ahead, click on the download, install it, and start upgrading your PC to Windows 11. In my case, the banner hasn't shown up yet because Microsoft rolled out the update in the phases. So it doesn't appear for everyone at the same time. And if it's same the case for you, the banner isn't showing here, no worries. Let's go ahead, open up any browser in your computer and search for Windows 11 installation assistance official and press enter. Here, I wanna go to this first link. You could just go to video description and click the link that is mentioned. Here, we have Windows 11 Installation Assistant and this is the best option for Windows 11 on the device you are currently using. Click Download now to get started. Let's go ahead and click on Download. Once this little assistant downloaded to your computer, open it. Accept all the license and agreement. Now in step 3, it started downloading the required update that needs Windows 10 PC to be upgraded to Windows 11. Please note that this first step could take longest because the assistant is downloading the Windows 11 setup file directly from Microsoft server that are around 4 to 5 gigabytes in size. The percentage here is showing the download progress. Make sure to keep your PC connected to the internet and if it stays on a single number for a few minutes, just leave it and let it finish. You could just go ahead and minimize this window on your Windows 10 PC and continue your work. This will keep downloading in the background. Once the download is complete, the tool automatically moves to step 2, that is verifying download. Verifying download step makes sure that files are complete and not corrupted, so your upgrade goes smoothly. It usually finishes within few minutes. And the step 3 is installing Windows 11. This is where the assistant prepare everything and start the actual upgrade in the background. When it reaches 100%, you will be prompted to restart now. And after the restart, your PC will complete the installation automatically. All your files, apps and settings will stay right where they are. Once all these critical steps are completed, now I am at the step where the process is automatically checking for any updates for Windows 11. This could take few seconds. Now at this point, this process will make sure you are ready to install Windows 11 and your PC has enough space or storage to proceed with Windows 11 installation. And then simply the computer needs to be restarted. It will restart and start installing Windows 11. Perfect. Now here I can see this process is completed 100% and it's asking me that I have 30 minutes to save my all of work and then restart my PC. So I could go ahead and restart my PC now because I have saved my all of the work and I don't need to wait for 30 minutes. Please note that during all this process you have to update it several times and restart your PC several times. So be patient. This is all what we need to do to proceed upgrading our Windows 10 to Windows 11. Now the setup is almost done and the system is restarting for the final time. After this start, we are welcomed by the brand new Windows 11 that is fully installed and ready to use. And the best part is all your files, apps and settings remain exactly same. Even your username and the password will stay as they were. You are not losing anything during this upgrade process. And here we are. Everything looks fresh, smooth and ready to use. And all your data is also safe. Now let's say if your PC didn't show up the upgrade to Windows 11 option in Windows Update because it's unsupported. Don't worry, I've got you covered. You can still upgrade easily using a tool called Rofos. First, head over to official Microsoft website and download the latest Windows 11 ISO file. And then go ahead and download the little software that is called Rofus. We will use Rofus to customize the ISO file so that we can install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC. Once the latest Windows 11 ISO file gets downloaded to your PC, just go ahead and download this Rofus software by going to rofus.ia. On this website, scroll down and download 
the latest Rofus software in your computer and it's only 1.8 MB. Once it's installed, just click on it and open it. Please make sure you have your USB connected to your computer. Let me show you by connecting it. Once I connected the USB, it came up here. And I could see here in the device section in the Rofus, USB is updated. Perfect. In the next step, let's go ahead and click on select. Here we have to select that specific image we have just downloaded. I have this Windows 11 latest image here and click on open. Now here, if you if you want, you could go ahead and change your volume label, but I don't want to change any other option here and I want to click on start button. Once I have clicked on the start button, you could see here that the first option we have selected is remove requirement for 4 gigs of RAM and secure boot TPM. Remove requirement for an online Microsoft account and create a local account. Let me set this up as an ITPK. You could check any option that is required for you, but I am checking up these options that I wanted to. Then click OK. Now it's telling me that all data on the USB drive will be destroyed. That's fine. I don't have any important data and let's click on OK. Please note that once this USB drive is ready, just go ahead, connect it to your unsupported PC that has Windows 10 and install the installation of Windows 11. You will not lose any file or any setting from your PC and will be able to upgrade to Windows 11 successfully and totally free. So that's how you can upgrade your Windows 10 PC to Windows 11. Either you have supported hardware or you have unsupported hardware. And I hope you like this video. If you really like it, don't forget to like and subscribe ITPK and let me know in the comment what you have decided. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.